Hey guys, Ashtugar here, and um, today, if you see my images of Kalichor, Deer, Valley Tudor, etc., um, you probably heard that I made these images, which is actually true. And you're probably thinking, how did I make these images so well? Well, in this video, I'm going to, I'm going to show you a tutorial on how to make images like these. So, without any further ado, let's do this now. So, firstly, what you need to do is go to Safari, Google, Chrome, Google, whatever you have, at least, as, as long as it will show images. And first you're going to need to search up concrete texture. Yes, that's what I searched up. Go to images and then you got you got these images here. Um, so let's find a random concrete images like this one. This one's pretty good, so I'm going to have that. Add to photos. And then next, what you need to do is go to magic eraser. Uh, this app is free. I'm not sure if it's on Android, but it's definitely on iOS. Um, I'm ever so sorry for the adverts, it's ridiculous. Um, let's just wait until this advert goes. So, after you load up your texture image, click done, and then what you need to do is go to this here called Erase, and um, what you want to do is um, to make a shape and you got to make it with a transparent image in order for this to work. So I'm going to make a random shape like, I don't know, this. And then after you've done your shape, what you need to do is erase the rest of the image in the background. Because you don't need that anymore. Um, now I understand this is not a perfect shape. But it's, it's a tutorial, I'm not going to make it an actual image or something like that. I'm just going to show you how you can make something like this. So after you've done your shape of whatever image you're doing, or moon, shall I say, click the Done button, and then what you need to do is on the right there's a PNG transparent background. Click that, and I'm going to click low resolution for now to make this look a bit semi-realistic. Like what these other Jupiter's Moons images you can see on the screen is showing. So after you've done that, go to Ibis Paint. Uh, you don't have to do this, but it's just to make image look more realistic. So what you need to do is click the plus icon. Um, select. I would recommend selecting three by four. Um, then what you need to do is go to Bucket, make the image black to make this look more spacey. That what I what you need to do is go to this layers button um, and then click this camera icon to get a photo and load up a concrete image with that transparent background. Once you've done that position it anywhere. So yeah it's looking good. Nope. And then what you need to do is to blur the photo. Um, you don't have to do this, like I mentioned, but it's just to make the image look a bit more realistic. So that's that's pretty good. And then once you've done that, click this arrow button here. And then save as PNG or transparent PNG. I'm going to save this as transparent. Okay, what you need to do is go back to Magic Eraser. Um, oh god, it's had a foot. And then load up that PNG image again. There it is. And then use this magic wand thing. And, um, I'd recommend turning that low to make... There we go. So you can still get that blur background thing. This is in order to add the stars in the background. This is optional. So this makes the moon, um, just itself. As you can see, um, while giving that blow effect and um, outline. After you've done that, click that box with the arrow. Click save, low resolution or high re resolution if you want. And then what you need to do is go back to Safari or Google, whatever you have. Search up stars and what you need to find is something like this. That's pretty good. I'm going to use that image. And then go to maybe Ibis Paint or Sketchbook or anything like that. And then click the plus icon, new from image. 
import photo and then get your stars photo click done then click this plus icon image with a plus select your moon image position it anywhere you want and maybe tilt it if you want as well it's pretty good and um yeah that's kind of pretty much it. it i know it's not the best i could make it as but hopefully you guys will get something better than what i did uh, if you want to change the color as well so, uh, i don't know maybe that color oh don't change the brightest to the highest because it look it'll definitely look fake keep it at um zero or maybe low view ones but I don't know. Um, and yeah, I think that's it. I'm just going to call this Moon Fan. Yep. You don't have to add the name. I'm just putting it there so you know. <laughs> um, yeah. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, that's how you make a moon. So yeah, that's pretty much it. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.